Managing your tasks and projects can be really challenging. So what I thought I'd do is share one of the ways I've managed my projects and tasks in Notion, and we're starting right now. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. For those of you unfamiliar with Notion, these are databases that I've created in Notion, and I can change the rows and columns as much as I want. In this first database, I have my projects, so I have project 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then I have related all of the tasks that are in my task database to those projects, so when I go into the project, I can see all of the tasks I need to do for that specific project. As you can see, those relations are also seen in the task database down below. Then next to the task column, I have a rollup, which essentially takes the information from my task database and shows it in my project database. This specific rollup is actually telling me how many tasks I have to do in this specific project. As I add tasks in, the number will increase. My next column is how many tasks I have completed in that project. So you can see when we go down to the task database, I have a done checkbox. When I have completed the task, I click the done, and that number will change in the projects database. Then because I like using progress bars to look at how far I've gone along with the project, I've actually created a formula to show me that progress. You can customize the database to show any information that you want, and the progress bar is also completely customizable. Check out this video if you want to learn more about emoji progress bars. Because I don't like viewing all of my projects in a table view, I actually prefer using a gallery view, which is what Notion allows you to do. Then when I click on the project, I can see all of the information that may have been hidden. Essentially, the database can be viewed in lots of different ways, so this is the gallery view and I can choose what is shown. If I want to show more of the information on that first gallery view page, I can just go into the properties and show them. Now going down to the task database, I've actually created dependent tasks. So I've linked task 1, task 2 and task 3 together. So I know, after I've completed task 1, I need to go to task 2. Then once I've completed task 2, I need to go to task 3. Once I've completed task 3, I know I've completed the project because there's no task in the next relation. I can also see the progress I have in this project because I have the progress bar roll up from that projects database. Now again, I don't want to see the tasks in that table view, this is just my preference, so I'm actually going to show you the list view instead. And again, you can choose what properties you choose to show, I've got next task and the progress bar up, you can add and take away as much as you want. This is just one example of how you could use project management in Notion. Check out this video to see what sort of skeleton structure may suit you best. I'll see you there.